Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Dad, and... This is another Kid in Life Q&A. Woo! Right, so Dad, I've been watching back our old videos, and we normally put a title over the watermark on our videos, but I was wondering how would we create a watermark of our own? Let me show you what uh, Aiden's talking about, in case you not familiar with watermarks or logos. Um, people nowadays put these on their videos and you can see this is one we put on one of our uh, Teramia tutorials. You say we. Dad does all the work. I didn't even know he created one of those. And uh, Kaden and I ones look like this. Here we Put it up there. So I'm going to show you how to make these two. Uh, I'll make a slight variation on, on say, this one, so you can have a idea of what is possible with, with these. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to get these two PNG files using uh, Google Images, and the size doesn't matter. But what's important is their backgrounds need to be transparent. So you need to see only the logo and nothing in the background like those two might take a little searching but that's what we need to have searching or an image editor yeah yeah well if you uh, you can of course make these things in uh, gimp or one of those image editors but the whole point of this is to make it in here another important thing is make it in the same resolution as uh, the video you intended to use it on. So set this up front. Don't do it in 1080 and then want to use it in 720 videos. You'll get an error when you try to import that, or a warning at least. So we're going to create a new title clip and we're going to import this image now. We're going to do it straight from the file system. So let's do this one first, and you'll see it's this is only a hundred by hundred roughly pixel image, so it's pretty small. We can zoom in on that just to make it easier to work with. And it's the top left. Okay, let's. Um, Add some text. This is way too big. Let's make it somewhat smaller. Just click in there again. So we'll do the one like that. And the color. I like to grab one of those blues from there uh, with a color picker that I've demonstrated before. Let's hit that one there. Or you could use the unofficial Aiden and Dad colors. Yeah, or that. Um, let's put this guy up here. It's too big still, but we're gonna fix that. Let's just make a little bit spicier. Let's go back to that one and roll it back almost like that. Our outline is too fat as well. That's why it's so black like that. No, you've changed your color. Your color's changed itself from blue to black. And let's go back and fix that. Alrighty. Something like that will work. Maybe it still needs to move over a little bit. Yep, that's fine. And we want to do another piece of text here. And we're just going to say for in life. And actually, at four, I want to move over to the right hand side there. And I want to complete this sort of rectangle with this one sort of over here. So let me make this white for now, that line. OK, 
Okay, let's just get video. There's something to demonstrate it on. I'll put that there. Oh, let's rename this to in life watermark. Put that up here. Make it a little bigger. I don't like the Safine. I prefer to use composite. And now if you look at it, you'll see it puts it up here in the top left corner. And it's a little bit big, I would say. So. And that's similar to how you would do a picture in picture. Yeah, it's very similar to that process. So instead of 100%, let's just make it 80%. And we don't want it in top left. Let's say we want it in the bottom right, for instance. So uh, all the way there. And you see it puts obviously your frame size in the bottom right. So you can just as well grab it and just drag it over here. And then fine tune it once it's there. Let's say something like that. I know the text is tiny, but you know. Yeah, but it's supposed to be tiny. Let's put it on white there. So that's that's one. Let's do the other one. Again, we bring in the background image and that's that's that logo and this one would be this third block one you'll see this is much bigger this is like 512 by 512 pixels starting with adding text and I I like to do it on the side here and you can see we can make this text a lot bigger I should just type it in the color what what we want to do is do a abbreviation like AAD is here so in this case, let's let's go grab this brown here, the dirt, like that one. Well, it's easier to see if we put this on here. And of course, you can go pick your specific font. I just. I'm looking to center it sort of in the image, so two of the letters are on this side and two that side, maybe on these edges of the block, like so. The A is on that edge, the S is on this edge. Uh, we can maybe increase the white border there. Whatever works for you. Another piece of text here. Uh, what did we call this? How tos? And it's still in the wrong color, so let's fix that. Get the picker. And now we want to do the opposite. We need to do the green. Click there. And it doesn't have two, two words. Yeah, but we, we're special. We make it one word. Are we rebels? Yep. So you see, this one's too big. So I'm going to make it fit. And I actually want to get it a little below this green here so it doesn't spill into each other there. Maybe around 75. That'll work. Like so. Yep, that looks good. Let's do that. And rename it to Minecraft. Watermark. And we're gonna put this one over the other one so we can see them both at the same time. But again, we want to change this composite. Now this image was a lot larger, so we need to reduce it a lot more. So again, going to the first keyframe by clicking that button. Let's make it 15% or so. And we don't want it in the top 
left, one it in the top right, let's say. We are there. We also want to change this to put it in the proper track. There, now you see it. And you see, we still need to bring it over a bit. I'm just doing that by hand again. You can always fine tune it later by. Uh, we want the spacing even on the sides, roughly. But you can fine tune it obviously by changing these values. I like round values, so I typically make it 5 there. That 90 is fine. And this one, let's see what it is. Maybe the 620. And that 80. Makes me feel better. Doesn't make a difference. And there you go. You can see the two of them. And obviously you can play with the sizes if you want a bigger or one smaller. And you will typically put this for the whole length of the clip. Now I just want to show you one different thing. Some people like to have a little background, like a semi-transparent background behind this to make your text maybe pop out a little better. And the way to do that is you just add it a rectangle like this. You can uh, draw it anywhere, any size. So we're gonna fix it now. I should zoom in here so you guys can see better. And let's just grab it. There we go. Something like that. And you'll see it graze everything out. That's because it's on the top layer. So you want to drop it down to the bottom layer using this function here. See there? And now we need to change this to both be black. Let me just show you if you click on this background. Here's where you can set the transparency. It's this guy here. It's actually this alpha value here. But if you drag there, you can see it changing. More transparent, less transparent. You see the example here? It's typically some sort of gray that people put behind there, but you can make it any color. And middle value sort of is fine for us. And obviously it makes the change more in real time there. Now it looks like that. You can see it's still transparent a little bit, but it makes your text stand out a little better if you've got text outside of your logo. In that one, the text is on the logo, so it shows nicely. That's it for this one. We'll link a few videos showing the two different examples of uh, these watermarks. Thanks for watching. In that video, Dad showed us how to do watermarks and logos on your videos. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.